In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to email a file from Google Drive. If you have a file in Google Drive that you want to send to someone via email, there are actually a number of different ways you can do that. And in this video, Timmy's going to show you all of them. If the file you want to email is a Google Doc, Google Sheet, or Google Slide, a lot of the methods for emailing those files are a bit different. So Timmy actually has a specific video about emailing those files, which there will be a link to in the video description down below. But if you want to email any other kind of file, you can use one of the following methods. If you use Gmail for your emails, there is actually a really easy way to attach Google Drive files directly from within Gmail. All you need to do is when you're in Gmail here, composing your email, click on this Google Drive icon across the bottom of the screen here. So click on insert files using Google Drive here. And now it will open up all your Google Drive files. So you just need to find the file you want to attach in here. So maybe we'll attach this picture here. So once you've found the file, just click on it to select it. Don't double click on it because double clicking on it would actually insert it straight into the email. You just want to click on it once so that it's highlighted like this because before you insert it into the email, there's something you want to check first. Before you insert the file into your email, you'll probably want to make sure it's set to insert the file as an attachment, not as a drive link. If you insert the file as a drive link, it would actually just insert a link to access the file on Google Drive into the email. And then your recipient would have to click on the link to then download the file from Google Drive instead of the file just being attached to the email like normal. The drive link method will actually work just fine and sometimes you might have to use it if the file you're emailing is a Google Doc or something like that or if it's just too large to be attached to an email the normal way. So Timmy will show you how that works in a minute. But if you can, Timmy would recommend clicking on attachment down here so that the file will actually be attached to the email because that just makes things simpler and easier for everyone. So now you can just click on insert and if you chose to attach the file to the email, your file will now be attached to the email as simply as that. And now you can click send and send the email and your recipient will receive an email with a normal file attached to it just like normal. But if your file is something like a Google Doc that can't be attached to an email or it's too large to be attached to an email and you have to use the Google Drive link method, the first thing you'll need to do here is put your cursor in the location where you want the link to be inserted. To me, I would recommend putting the cursor and the link below all the text in the email. So you could click it down here and press enter on your keyboard a few times so that it's down here and out of the way and nice and neat because the link will actually be put in a bit of a box. So it'll look nicer if it's all below the text, but it's really up to you wherever you want to put it. And then once you've put your cursor where you want it, you just need to click on the insert Google Drive files button, just like before. And now in here, just choose the file you want to insert. So we might go with this cool guy picture again. So we'll click single click on that to select it and then make sure it's set as insert as drive link this time. So don't have attachment selected because that would look like that click on drive link and that'll be dark like that. And then when you're ready, click insert here. And now the link to the file will be inserted in your email. But when you click send to send the email, it will tell you you need to give your recipient access to the file on Google Drive. Because at the moment, if they clicked on the link in the email, they still wouldn't be able to view or download the file. And you have two options here. Timu would recommend selecting allow anyone with the link to view because that means anyone who clicks on the link inside the email 
will automatically be able to view and download your file from Google Drive. So that's probably the best and easiest option. But if the email address you're sending this email to is a Gmail address, as you can see it is here, or you just know that the person's email address is connected to their Google account, you could also choose share with people here, and then it would actually share the file with this person via Google Drive so that when they click on the link in your email, they'll be able to view and download the file because it's already been shared with them. So now once you've made your choice here, Again, Timmy would recommend going with allow anyone with the link to view. You can click send and the email will be sent. So that's all there is to that. And if you use Gmail, that's probably the way to go. But if you don't use Gmail or you just don't like that method, another option is to use the sharing functionality in Google Drive. Timmy already has a video about sharing Google in Google Drive. so. You can click on the link in the description to learn how to do that. And basically what happens is in Google Drive, you type in the email address of the person you want to email the file to, and they'll actually get an email from Google with a button to access the file. There are a few downsides to doing it this way. The email won't really be coming from you, it'll kind of be coming from Google, and your recipient will have to have a Google account and you'll need to make sure you send the file to the email address that's connected to their account. But if you know your recipient also uses Google Drive, it's certainly a very easy option. And sticking to the same theme of using Google Drive sharing, a better option might actually be to use link sharing. Timmy has another video about link sharing, which Timmy will put a link in the video description too, so be sure to go and watch that if you want to see how that's done. But with link sharing, you can copy a special link from Google Drive and then paste it into an email and then send the email to your recipient. Then your recipient can click on the link in the email and it will take them to Google Drive so that they can view it or download it and do whatever they want with it. This can be a better option than using regular sharing in Google Drive because the email will come directly from you with your subject line and your message body and everything like that, because it's completely an email from you. And it doesn't matter whether or not your recipient has a Google account. They can just click the link and access the file no matter what. So those options are great, but if you're worried all of this is getting a bit overcomplicated and you just want to attach the file directly to the email, but you don't use Gmail, another option is to just download the file from Google Drive and then attach it to the email from your computer. All you need to do is find the file in Google Drive, so to me it's in drive.google.com slash drive, and just find your file here, so maybe this picture, and just single click on it to highlight it like this, so not a double click, just a single click, and then click on the three dots here, and in the menu that appears, click download. And now the file will be downloaded to the downloads folder of your computer. And now it's just a file in the downloads folder. So you can do whatever you want with it, including attaching it to any email in any email app. So Timmy might attach it to an email in Outlook. So Timmy will pull up this email here, that Timmy is sending to Bob, and just click attach file in Outlook, and browse this PC, and as you can see, in the downloads folder, cool guy is here. So you can just double click on it, and this part will all look a bit different depending on what email app you use, and what computer you use, but you probably know how to attach a file to an email on your computer, so now that the file is downloaded from Google Drive, you can just do that however you normally do it. So it's attached here now, and you can go ahead and send it. And now you've sent an email to your recipient with the file just attached to the email like normal. So 
Those are really all the different ways you can email a file from Google Drive on your computer, but if you want to email a file using the Google Drive app on your phone or tablet, there is actually a really easy way to do that. All you have to do is when you're in the Google Drive app here, find the file you want to email, maybe we'll use this picture, and then tap on the three dots here, and in this menu that appears, tap send a copy. And now this part will look a little bit different depending on your phone, but it will bring up this regular sharing menu that you usually see on your phone with all the sharing options. So you could message it to people, share it on social media, and do all kinds of things like that. And one of those options will be to email it with your email app. So again, this will all look a bit different depending on your phone, but your email app might be Gmail, or it might be a different one like this one, and you might need to scroll up or down or side to side or something to find the email app that you're using. But once you find your email app, just tap on that, and now it will just attach the file to a new email in Gmail or in any other email app that you use on your phone. So now you can type in the to field here, so you can put someone's email address, you can type your subject and your message body, and then you can send that, and then your recipient will get an email with an image attached to it. So if you don't like any of the methods on your computer, but you do have the Google Drive app on your phone or tablet, you might even just want to use your phone or tablet every time you email a file from Google Drive because it's just really easy to do and it works really well. And that's all there is to it. Those are all the different ways that you can email a file from Google Drive. But remember, if you ever want to email a Google Doc, Google Sheet, or Google Slide, Timmy shows you more specific methods for emailing those types of files in this video here.